Olá pessoas, tudo bom? Vambora! Oh, banana Monkey! Vambora! Banana Assistance, vamos lá! É, deixa eu só mexer aqui. Na verdade não é ele, né? Não é ela que a gente tem que pôr, é o. É o nosso cachaceiro de plantão aqui. Vambora. Montana! Wait up! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Time to show you what I can really do! Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card! Watch this! Eu sei que o tempo de produção desses jogos aqui exige que certas coisas sejam feitas de uma forma é, de uma forma específica. Então eu não vou nem cobrar é, algumas coisas como essas transições esquisitas, porque às vezes era isso ou não ficar pronto a tempo. O que é triste, né? É, normalmente esse tipo de produto tem esses problemas. Being able to see an actor who isn't a monkey fills me with such joy. This scene would be overly monotonous otherwise. Though, I too find this way of making my entrance rather excessively deliberate. We're not blessed with the luxury of time. What's a little blatant engineering in the opening sequence? Won't you agree? Uh, who are you? Uh, Robin's people? No. Your memo keeper. Keen intuition. But that layer of my identity isn't important. I am only here because of my fastidiousness toward the theatrical arts. What in fork in hell are you trying to say? Yeah, I was planning to tell you to stay away from this place. But you're being so annoyingly pretentious that you're better off turning into a monkey. At least you'd be less noisy then. You may think that I popped up out of nowhere. And yes, you can attribute that to a <coughs> lack of foreshadowing. I wouldn't have approved such a sloppy sequence in usual cases. <laughs> Yet, for the sake of this film, I am willing to forego some of my standards to offer some tiny clues to you and the other ranger. Oh. Rapper sent you. <laughs> no wonder you're talking in that same convoluted manner. At present, there is an obvious way to save Dreamflux Reef. 
As long as the family steps into the picture, resolving the mutation that's occurred here would be a piece of cake. However, this is not a solution that the masses may be willing to accept. You think too little of people here. They gave up on those sweet dreams out there just so they can be true to themselves. You reckon such people would grovel at the feet of the family over a mere crisis? Yes, Mr. Micah thinks the same. But that perseverance of theirs isn't going to save Dream Flux Reef. I don't wish for this film to develop into a tragedy either. If the residents of Dream Flux Reef hope to tide over the crisis without the family's help, they will have to sing their very own song of harmony. This is why I'm here. I have prepared a big gift for all of you. The outline for the next act. You'll see once you open it. And why should I believe you? I am the director of this film as much as I am an actor in it. When it comes to the last scene that I will appear in, there's no reason for me not to seek perfection. <laughs> tá bem não, né? <laughs> I knew it. There's no way a little fudge head will come right out and say what he actually means. Well, let's just see what you're up to then. Fudger does know what he's talking about. <laughs> well, nothing else can beat this if the people of Dream Flux Reef have to come together to sing their song of harmony. Oh, time to go back to that singing queen. <laughs> Poor canal. Oh, this place totally ain't shabby enough to ask the family for help. Bora, cadê? Cadê Robin? Vamos lá com a Robin. Faz sentido, né? Deixa eu usar o bar ali. I understand. I'll try my best, Mr. Micah. All right, there. Hold your horses. What do y'all have so far? Oh. It's you, Mr. Boothill. How are things outside? The same old sorry side. Not that I miss it. Uh, have we really come to this? What do you mean, partner? Am I gonna have to start learning how to greet the family now? <sighs> On the contrary, that's something that will never happen in Dreamflux Reef. At the end of the day, I'm just Dreamflux Reef's night watch, not its leader. I'm loath to interfere with people's right to choose. Choose? Uh, don't tell me you believe they chose to become monkeys. That's exactly my point. These are people who seek their true selves. I don't believe they would seek happiness by erasing their individuality. But I won't stop them from heading towards destruction as long as they made the decision with a clear head. <laughs> That's my boy. If there are people who aspire to become monkeys, I won't deny them of that dream. But I hope Miss Robin would at least give them that right to choose once again. There is, indeed, a way to resolve the impending crisis without drawing the family's eyes to Dreamflux Reef. We know the tuning of harmony can erase the static noise. If the people of Dreamflux Reef are willing to follow my lead in singing a charmonic tune together, we may be able to erase the heinous noises reverberating around Dreamflux Reef. But knowing how a number of residents here view the family, it won't be easy for the plan to work. More importantly, if the family's tunes become the only song left on Dreamflux Reef, we would have survived the crisis with Penacone's only land of freedom. 
would also cease to exist. Just have every sound and voice come together in a single song. Listen, I, I have a fucking brilliant idea. Come with me, singing queen. <laughs> Whether it works or not, depends on how much of a deviant you are. You ready for it? Now, this is the only way to get everyone in Dreamflux Reef to sing together. <laughs> this... Uh... Need I say any more? Oh, well, don't tell me you've been so used to your classy posh instruments that this thing is beneath you. No, that's not it. I know a thing or two regarding everything related to tunes. But this really is absurd. <sighs> Perhaps an absurd crisis calls for an equally absurd solution. Quando eu vi o primeiro trailer do Star Rail, é, de Panetone, eu achava que a Robin ia ser o grande vilão. Foi um suspeito que eu tive. E de certa forma eu tava certo com a questão do, do Sam, né? Que não é o, o verdadeiro Sam, né? O verdadeiro Sam a gente só conhece depois. Mesmo que ainda seja a mesma pessoa, no final das contas. Gente, a galera. Cidadão. Cidadão insubortável. Snap out of it, cowpokes. There's a big party going on over there. Micah already told us about it. Chiming in on the family's harmonic tunes. You best get the hell out of Isn't that one of my lines? But sure. Heard this way. I know I'm being a little demanding here. But get your hind parts over to that party right now and save your home, or I'll make sure to dedicate an elegy for every one of you. You 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 you, you never seen a thug before? I'm not Micah. Wanna try me and my gun? What's going on? Are fellow humans more dangerous than those monkeys now? Fine. We'll go to the party. Keep that gun of yours away. <risos> Pequeno diálogo ali, né? <risos> Howdy, partner. Oh, what's wrong, pals? Oh, that's one distressed look you have there. Haven't been swinging enough, eh? Shut up, cowboy. Enough snide remarks. Come over and help us out. Oh? That's exactly what I'm here for. Here, head over to this place and just wait for it. <laughs> I called it, didn't I? Who needs all that brain when swigging around on the dance floor solves things just the same? A cowboy? Oh, right. The same guy as the other time. Could Miss Robin be? Come with me, everyone. I think he might just be making some sense. E o cara vomitando ali atrás, que nojo. Never mind. What's one more loony to the count? Let's go see what's going on then. O Raul foi embora. Né, Raul? Oi, mas que. Amarto. Que spawn, irmão. My, my, my. Look who's here. Uh, uh, I've been looking for you all day. Hmm. Should I believe that or not? Oh, all right then. I'll just take half the credit for those assistant Anna's we took out. Yeah, that's also just half of the whole lot. Huh? Oh, so that's why nothing's going back to normal. Uh, come on, we need to hurry. No need for that. We got a new plan now. Uh, how did it go with her? Convinced? Uh, I'll help out wherever possible. Jeepers. How'd you get through to her? Master assistant Nana the Pope? March explained everything to me. I wasn't really.
really influenced by the assistant in us. It was something else. Uh, anyway, it's not your fault. Those bananas are incorrigible. Preaching about how having nothing is best. More like they wouldn't be able to control a single human if none of us thought that way. Say whatever they like. They're nothing but smashed fudges once I put my bullets into them. Everything ironed out between you two now. Hmm. Follow me then. Oh wow! Everyone's here. Vamos ouvir aí show da da Robin. <laughs> What was it you said? Who in their right mind would sing in a choir in this era? Not when you tell them there's a party. That's when people come flocking. What? A party? You're back, Mr. Boothill. We wouldn't have this turnout if it wasn't for Mr. Micah. Most of them are unwilling to trust me. Eu estou sentindo que a gente vai vai culminar em uma treta. Nossa, federal aqui. Everyone's got something they want. Meu, não acaba a campanha. Normalmente eu não ia achar ruim de demorar para acabar a campanha. Mas como eu tô com duas séries para gravar hoje, antes do almoço, então eu tô no speedrun aqui. Eu ainda não consegui entender como eu realmente acreditei nisso. Eu tenho que ser louco. Não é tão escuro sobre isso. Eu tenho que fazer algo louco de vez em quando. Isso me deixa de ir de verdade. Tudo bem. Let's get the party going. Once the hype is at its peak, I'm gonna treat everyone to a drink. <laughs> I'm starting to like you guys now. Well, thank you in advance, Mr. Boothill. But I'd like to remind you on behalf of Jesse that your seven cups from before haven't been paid yet. But I'm willing to take care of that bill, of course. I've hosted several acting gigs in the past. But this is the most unusual of the lot. Will it really work? Oh, don't overthink it, singing queen. Uh, let me tell you something funny. I'm sure you could tell I've been through some uh, modifications on my body. When I just started out as a cyborg, my memory module fizzled out every so often, and I didn't even mess with it. The doctor told me to note things down if they were ever important. And she'd look up some possible causes before coming to fix me up a few days later. But guess what? I must have fudged and noted things down for several days straight. And that's when it hit me. I was remembering too much crap. That's why my memory module just kept shutting down on me. Is there a reason you're telling us this? <laughs> yeah. And it's simple. I'm telling you that it's not yourself that you have to trust, but them. Everyone here has a perfectly functional memory module. They didn't develop such robust brains to forget everything and become monkeys. So, you in? Yes. Let's get this party started. <laughs> What was it again? Uh, an absurd solution to an absurd crisis? <laughs> I won't call it that. It's only right for Dream Flux Reefs' song to be untamed and free. Go get the party started, singing queen. No, no, I should call you, uh, DJ Queen instead. Let's go, nameless gal. You can go grab a seat by yourself. Leave it on behind. We're gonna Beautiful, find. excellent music can really bring a film to life. Totally forkeroni. Aren't you riding off your character? I am. That's why I am watching this scene as a director instead of an actor. I can't wait to hear for myself how this song of harmony is going to turn out. Sometimes I get hit by sudden hunches that a great film is in the making. More often than not, 
These tend to be just scenes from different groups of people that are then edited together. Most of the characters in this film aren't what you would call protagonists. You don't really get to see full character arcs on them, but they still have a light in their hearts that can save humanity's soul. Esse arco eu acho que é o mais estranho arco que a gente teve em Star Ray até agora. Que ele parece sem ritmo e estranho ao mesmo tempo. Sabe, nem parece que é a mesma galera que escreveu os arcos anteriores. O passado da Rapa, por exemplo, é muito mais pesado e, e tenso do que a gente tinha visto, né? O cara que criou ela lá no laboratório, que ele é no laboratório, foi lá e capotou a assistente para proteger ela. Né, no final das contas, aí quando a gente vê como é que ela realmente tava, ela tava é, é, que nem um bicho saído de uma jaula, cara, é tenebroso. É o prelúdio, você ouvir isso? Esses mais terceiros, tão plaintivos, sextos, diminuídos, sigh on sigh, told them something. Those suspensions, those solutions, must we die? Those commiserating sevenths, life might last, we can but try. So, Miss Robin, is there anything else I can do? I'm all right now. You don't have to accompany me any further. The butterflies that I felt from before... That's <laughs> all <laughs> gone now. Is that because you're starting to get into the mood for the party early? No, that's not it. I just realized something I've never noticed before. Oh? Everyone expected my life to change after going through something huge like that. But that's not the case. I still haven't found a better answer regarding birds and flight. Even when something comes to my mind, I still need a lot of time to deliberate on it and try various ways to prove it. I believe my brother must be doing the same right now. Are you going to change yourself from today? Not exactly. It's just when I think about what's going to happen next, it dawns upon me that hymns tend to require a devoted heart. And demand the choir to sing in unison. But on the dance floor, there's no need to conform or impose a certain standard for everyone to follow. Even if everyone is different, they will still appear the same. Perhaps harmony was never about its audience, but about the light it provides. Much like how we see it now. There are more choices for the people than singing in unison. Even if they were to contribute their own differing sounds, these can be strung together. That's what it means to tune. I believe our song of harmony will be able to embrace even discordant sounds. I will bring forth Dream Fox Reef's very own sound. Nada. Beleza. All preparations leading up to the climax are in place. Let us welcome with bated breath. The beatific final act. Vamos lá, agora é hora do pau comer. Are you not done with your ninja tech yet? Patience. As stated in the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, 
Hasty knitting produces poor fabric, as raging fires fail to cook meat through. Hmm. <laughs> ha! Done! The cosmic ninjutsu is ever-changing. So I present to you the Super Ninja Scroll. I have added the memory from earlier into this. If Ninja Gama does not lie, this will become the blade to slay those fiendlings. As long as we insert memories containing the ninja mimetic virus into the synesthesia dreamscape, it will overwrite the existence of Slumber Nana Monkey in the dream. Ninja Hiryu, Ninja Galactic Baseballer, I'm counting on the <laughs> two of you to aid me in ending the Feedling Chief's reverse dream. Tá, ela tem sentido avançado, né? Por causa dos experimentos. Isso explica como. Vambora. <risos> Vamos, Bana. Capítulo final. Queda onírica invertida. Gibberish sounds from before have stopped. I shattered the fiend's deception with my ninja talismans. Has everyone snapped out of their trance? It looks like Mr. Rekka did tell the truth. Your memory worked in overriding the Slumber Nana monkey's influences. Our... Is this the moment of Slumber Nana? This place is crawling with Slumber Nana monkeys. I'm guessing they're. That is true. This is undoubtedly the illusory realm Ninja Galactic Baseballer and I had once visited. There were not as many fiendlings around back then. Looks like more and more people are being afflicted by the sorcery. Fiendling Chief, you're behind all of this, aren't you? But, uh, what a waste. If it wasn't for so many variables disrupting the plan, this place would have been even more bustling. You know it's even more of a waste? Your experiment's on its way to failure. Let me make a guess. You want to destroy this place with a virus in her head. But look at all these monkeys. Do you really think that dated manga can replace the most fervent trend in the dreamscape? Ué, como é que ele sabe? Of course that wouldn't work. Neither do I have any intentions of pushing ninja initiates to adopt the way of the dazzling ninja. All we need to do is bring those disillusioned fans back to their senses to quell the rogue waves of feelings. There's no need to replace the slumber nana monkeys with ninjas. We just have to snap them back to their senses. That alone is enough to undermine the influence of the mimetic virus. And when people no longer blindly follow slumber nana monkey, we will be able to easily destroy this dreamscape. Looks like that memo keeper gave you guys some banana tips that good students shouldn't know about. In that case, I can only issue the final exam to you. Bring it on! I'm ready for your challenge! Oh, laying down your challenge only... I can't tell what's up his sleeve. But we should take care of these slumber nana monkeys as soon as possible. Stopping the mimetic virus is still our priority for now. Ninja Hiryu is right. Since I have already relinquished the super ninja scroll, I rely on my fist to awaken these ninja initiates that succumb to the way of the fiendling. <laughs> Gente, é, eu vou encerrar aqui, certo? Mas se for curtinho. Eu adiciono e edito, tá? Então, falou, valeu. Até mais. Fui.